Hey everyone, welcome back to What Did I Miss, where I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the new Star Trek series Strange New Worlds to come out on Paramount+. Plus. So I thought it'd be fun to think up five different things that I want to see in Strange New Worlds based on the time period the series takes place in the show, which is less than ten years before some Kirk guy takes over as captain. While little is known yet about the series, Alex Kurtzman has stated that the show will be much more like the original series, in that it will show the crew going from different adventures episode to episode, and not having the overarching plot lines that are so prevalent in Star Trek Discovery and Picard. This means we will be getting a lot more Villains of the Week, as well as see this crew briefly intersect with known points in the timeline of Star Trek. It is those events that I'm going to focus on and try and guess as to what strange new worlds and characters the crew of the Enterprise will meet. This is always more fun when I hear from you, so let me know in the comments which planets and races of aliens you want to see Captain Pike and the rest of the crew cross paths with. Also, if you do find yourself enjoying this video, please help me out by hitting that like button. It really helps small channels like mine get their videos out to more people. Okay, so here are five things I want to see on Strange New Worlds. Hit it. Orion 1, home of the Orion people. The home planet of one of the most mysterious and nefarious race of aliens on Star Trek, Orion 1 is still a strange new world yet to be explored. The Orion people were introduced in the first Star Trek episode to be aired, Where No Man Has Gone Before, and appeared a few more times on the original series. They were a forgotten race mostly after that, as they were not seen during the runs of Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, as well as Voyager, or in any of the movies during that time frame. Since then, they terrorized the crew of the NX Enterprise and Captain Jonathan Archer multiple times on the series Enterprise, were also heavily involved as villains of the third season of Discovery, and one of the cast members of the new animated series Lower Decks is an Orion. Because of Ensign Tendi, the Orion serving aboard the USS Cerritos on Lower Decks, we did get to see a holodeck representation of one destination on the planet, but in a twist of irony, Ensign Tendi admits that she had never been to the location, so it is possible that it's not a true representation at all. Their reputation as pirates and smugglers would suggest that there may be a class system on the planet, or perhaps they are similar to House Greyjoy on Game of Thrones, who do not sow, but rather take what they want from others. Although, the presence of Ensign Tendi on a Federation vessel a hundred years after the events of the original series would suggest that perhaps during this time there's a shift on the planet towards a more hospitable culture, which would be interesting to see. Because of all of this, I would be very surprised if we did not see the Orion people popping up on Strange New Worlds. Robert April, First Captain of the Enterprise while Captain Pike did command the Enterprise before Captain Kirk, he was still not the first captain of the Valiant ship, as that honor goes to Robert April. In fact, he commanded the first five-year mission of the ship before being promoted to Commodore and passing on the captain's chair to his then first officer, Christopher Pike. He has appeared on one episode of the original Star Trek animated series and was voiced by James Doohan, but has only been referenced since. In one such reference in Star Trek Discovery, he was among a list of the most decorated officers in Starfleet history, so he's obviously an important figure in the history of the Federation. With all the pomp behind this character, it is amazing that we have not seen him in the flesh in all the years of Star Trek. One of the common tropes of each Star Trek series has been an officer being asked to help a former commander on a perilous mission, and I could definitely see a similar storyline showing up on Strange New Worlds, with Captain Pike now being forced to help his former mentor. It would be very rewarding to see a man that had so much influence over Captain Pike and made him into the character that we now get to see on the Enterprise. This would also make him the seventh live action captain of the Enterprise to appear on screen, which would be the same amount of different live action models of the actual Enterprise that have been shown on screen as well. Montgomery Scott, Master's Apprentice. While Strange New Worlds already has one character from Captain Kirk's Enterprise on the crew in Spock, we are sure to see various other members of the famous crew join on if the series is given enough time. And one such character that could appear is the famed engineering miracle worker, Montgomery Scott. It is never mentioned when he does join the crew of the Enterprise, only that he is there in the year 2265 when James Kirk assumes command. But there is no reason to believe that he was not serving on the Enterprise prior to this. In fact, there is no named engineering officer shown in the first appearance of Captain Pike way back in the episode cage, and none are prominently shown when the Enterprise appears on Discovery, so he could be serving on the Enterprise already as far as we know. If they do introduce the character, the producers better get a great actor with a good Scottish accent, as the performances by James Doohan as well as Simon Pegg in the rebooted movie are quite iconic and while not on the level of a character like Spock, are still sacred to fans. But still, it would be amazing to see a young Scotty learning the ins and outs of the Enterprise before he becomes the genius we see as a member of Captain Kirk's crew. Or, just like with adding Robert April and seeing the effect he had on Captain Pike, it would be cool to see who Scotty learned under and introduce his mentor as well. Deneb 4, Gary Mitchell and Encounter at Farpoint. 
There are many planets in the Star Trek cosmos that hold special meaning as one or more crucial points in history occur there, such as the Genesis planet and Earth, and one of these lesser known planets is the planet Deneb 4. Even by the time of the Next Generation crew operating the Enterprise, it was known to be on the edge of the known galaxy, and it was there that we were introduced to said crew in their first episode, Encounter at Farpoint. But also in the original series episode where No Man Has Gone Before, it is referenced by James Kirk and Gary Mitchell as a planet they visited during an away mission, and one in which Gary Mitchell was tested and confirmed to have telepathic abilities, a condition that would eventually turn him into a near omnipotent being. In the Next Generation episode, the crew visit the planet due to the inhabitants having built a space station in very little time, but then learn that the station itself is actually a living organism that the planet's dwellers, a race known as the Bondi, has enslaved. It would be fascinating to have the crew check out the planet after the incident with Kirk and Mitchell and investigate the events there, or maybe meet the Bondi people as they arrive. It also would be very meta to include this planet in the first episode of Strange New Worlds, as it was all also involved in the plot lines of the other two series premieres featuring the USS Enterprise. USS Farragut, Kirk's first assignment. While it will be important for Captain Pike and the crew of the Enterprise on Strange New Worlds to break out as their own crew, fans will no doubt be waiting to see at least some characters that they know showing up from time to time. And how awesome would it be to see James Kirk on his very first assignment on the USS Farragut? If I understand the time frame correctly, the years the show are operating in should be the same time that Kirk was assigned to the Farragut as it was his first assignment upon graduating from Starfleet Academy. The fate of the Farragut, however, is quite tragic as all hands except for Kirk were lost in battle that was detailed in the original series episode The Obsession in which Kirk travels back to the planet and actually is commanding the son of his commanding officer on the Farragut who died during the incident. I think that it would be a nice build up if we knew that we were going to see the Farragut and did not know if we would see a young Kirk or not and possibly only heard his name in passing or maybe see him have a run in with Spock for the first time. Little story nuggets like this that connect to people, places, and events that we have yet to see on screen but have had a great effect on our favorite characters are just the stories that I would like to see on this new series. Well, those are my five pitches for story ideas for Strange New Worlds, but you let me know, what did I miss? Which character or planets would you like to see show up on the new show? At the time of this video, we still do not know when we will get the first episode, but signs are pointing to sometime in 2021. Until then, I will be on the lookout for any and all news concerning Strange New Worlds, as well as any other Star Trek news so be sure to smash that subscribe bell so you know when they will come out. Also, I have a lot of other Star Trek videos on my channel, so I encourage you to check those out as well if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss? Hey, I'm very happy to share that I have been sponsored by the website Treksphere. So for the last four years, they have been many Star Trek fans' number one source for news, reviews, and fan-created content, and they continue to grow. I've been a fan for a while now, and I'm very proud to be representing the site alongside people like Kowalski, Jesse Gender, and Triangulum Audio Studios, who are all channels I watch and are creators that I respect. So go check them out and look out for my content being featured on the site soon. And if you are enjoying this video here, please hit that like button so maybe they'll keep me around for a while. Thank you very much.